Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is from Line Creek Brewing Company out of Peachtree City, Georgia. Very local to my location. This is the Knucklehead Fruited IPA Series. This particular one says Mango, Passion Fruit, and Peach. So Line Creek Brewing Company out of Peachtree City, Georgia. Very close to where I am in Noonan, about 15 miles uh, west, northwest of here, or northeast of here. Uh, this particular batch was canned on April 25th, 2020, so relatively fresh. 6.4% alcohol by volume. I love how they put this uh, information on the label as well. It doesn't want to focus, but it's got the uh, color, bitter, finish, body. And it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect from the beer. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. I've been on an IPA kick lately. After all those wonderful New England IPAs that Brandon and Trish sent me, I've been buying up some local stuff to see how it compares, which I'm a big New England IPA guy anyway. If I'm going to drink an IPA, I want the New England style. That's just what I prefer to the West Coast Piney Bitter IPAs. And as you can see, the appearance of this, it looks a lot like a New England IPA. Little bit of stuff floating around in there. And it's, of course, super hazy. Orange, cannot see through it at all. Poured with a really nice head on there as well. So because this is a fruited IPA, in addition to the hops, they actually add a little bit of juice in here. It says mango, passion fruit, and peach. So I guess it actually has some of the juice from those fruits in the beer itself. And the aroma it smells like a juice bomb, really. I'm sure from the addition of juice, but also from the hops. It's definitely got some nice hop character to it. I'm getting the mango. I'm getting the peach. I'm also getting the passion fruit. There's a nice... Citrus note from the hops in here as well. Some tangerine citrus notes. I'm also picking up on pineapple with this. Some nice pineapple notes on the aroma. I mean, it just smells super fruit forward. Mm. It smells really good. Nice and juicy. Slightly bready from the malt. That's pretty much it, though. Definitely fruit forward, lots of tropical fruit, lots of just, you know, fruit aromas on the nose, not just mango, passion fruit, and peach, as disclosed on the label as the juices that they add, but also pineapple, tangerine. Mm. All right, so it smells like a winner. Without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Nice and fruit forward, but that fruit burst that you're getting up front is very short-lived. It immediately leads into a nice bready center. Very malty, very bready. Some nice wheat bread notes in the middle of the sip. Mm. Of course, all the fruit flavors are there. Peach, mango, passion fruit, tangerine, pineapple. Maybe a slight guava note I'm picking up on as well. I mean, this has just got tons of fruit flavor. This is about as juicy of a beer as you could hope for. And not it doesn't just taste like they poured a bunch of juice in here. It tastes like most of the fruit flavors that I'm getting are actually from the hops because it's got a ton of great hop character as well. And the finish with this is slightly bittering. I mean, I don't know what the IBUs are. If I had to guess, I would say 40 to 50. But because it's so juicy, the bitterness is not really lingering. It's just kind of there to balance out the explosion of fruit flavor that you're getting with this beer. Mm. Man, this is a winner. 
This is a really incredible beer by Line Creek Brewing Company. This is probably one of the best IPAs I've ever had from them. And of course, it's right now my or right up my alley with the fact that it's more along the lines of a juice bomb, a New England style IPA. Um, and I mean, just look at the appearance. It's just bright, vibrant, beautiful. It's got some nice splotchy lacing left behind. The head retention is very nice as well. It's sticking around. The mouthfeel with this is creamy. The body at 6.4% is actually relatively light. You could session this somewhat because it's just so dang refreshing and easy drinking. Carbonation is on the low medium side. This is a winner. This is absolutely an incredible beer. If you live in Georgia, close to Peachtree City, or in any area where you can find Line Creek Brewing Company beers, I highly recommend you check out the Knucklehead Fruited IPA. It's a winner. It's going to get a 97 out of 100 for me. Absolutely delightful. I could not recommend it more. It is a beauty of a beer. It's hoppy. It's juicy. It's fruity. It's bready. It's slightly bitter. It's refreshing and crisp. What more could you ask for? So 97 out of 100 for the Lion Creek Knucklehead Fruited IPA. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.